The Grand Ronde Valley by Ella Rhodes Higginson 1862 to 1940 Ah me, I know how like a golden flower the Grand Ronde Valley lies this August night locked in by dimpled hills where purple light lies wavering. There, at the sunset hour, sink downward like a rainbow-tinted shower, a thousand coloured rays, soft, changeful, bright. Later, the large moon rises round and white, and three blue mountain pines against it tower, lonely and dark. A coyote's mournful cry sinks from the canyon, whence the river leaps, a blade of silver underneath the moon. Like restful seas, the yellow wheat fields lie, dreamless and still. And while the valley sleeps, oh, hear the lullabies that low winds croon. Okay, this poem is by Ella Higginson, Ella Rhodes Higginson. She was actually born in Kansas, but when she was very small, her parents took a wagon train to um, the Pacific Northwest. Um, specifically, they went to Oregon. Uh, and these are the people who uh, settled the Wild West. Um, she became famous as a writer talking about the experiences and what life was like in the Pacific Northwest in the last quarter of the 19th century. And I'm sure in those days it was a very wild place. Anyway, this poem itself is a description of the Grand Ronde Valley, which is um, <clears throat> in northern Oregon. Oregon's a beautiful state, by the way. Okay, so, army. I know how, like a golden flower, the Grand Ronde Valley lies this August night. So, the, tonight, the valley, it looks like a golden flower. And this is a night in August. So, this is summer. Locked in by dimpled hills. So, a dimple is a little dent. So, there are little dents on the hills all around this valley where purple light lies wavering. Wavering is moving. So there's like a purple light in, um, uh, in these valleys. There at the sunset hour sink downward like a rainbow tinted shower. A thousand colored rays, soft, changeful, and bright. So she's now describing the light at sunset and she's um, saying that there are thousands of different colors. It's a rainbow of uh, a rainbow shower of colors and the light is always changing as the sun goes down, as, as uh, dusk appears and there is this soft bright light Later, the large moon rises round and white. So after that, then with time, the moon rises round and white. And three blue mountain pines against it tower. So you can see the silhouette of three large blue mountain pines uh, uh, in front of the moon. Lonely and dark. So these pine trees, they look lonely and dark. A coyote's mournful cry sinks from the canyon. Arr, arr. Yeah, there's a coyote. It's like a, a, a wild dog. Yeah, and it has a sad cry. It's mournful cry. Mourning, it's sad cry. Sinks from the canyon. So the canyon is the, where the water runs where the whence the river leaps so i think 
the water leaps out of the canyon and then falls downwards yeah whence from where the river leaps a blade of silver underneath the moon so the river looks like um a silver sword or a silver blade uh under the moon like restful seas the yellow wheat fields lie dreamless and still okay so um the the yellow wheat fields are everywhere and this is why she caught, says uh, a, a, a yellow flower at the beginning because I think the whole valley is full of wheat um, and I think there's no wind so the wheat is without it doesn't dream and it's not moving while the valley sleeps oh hear the lullabies that the low winds croon so to croon is to sing a song so there are low winds there are very gentle winds and these winds are making um, a a very soft noise and these are lullabies to put everyone to sleep and this is a lovely description of the valley so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now the Grand Ronde Valley by Ella Rhodes Higginson